Hello, hello, hello. I thought I had another second before I was going to go live. Um, so how are you? I am so sorry. My day got away from me. It has been a morning and um, I'm so excited to be back here with all of you on Daily Guidance. I feel like it's been forever. I think it was uh, last week. Um, so I am so glad that we are back together. Here we are. So um, lots going on um, energetically. We're coming out of that full moon, Aries full moon energy. I know a lot of people are feeling it. I know there's a lot of, um, uh, you know, b triggers out there. A lot of people are being triggered um, and it's the energy. And it's uh, honestly, it's revealing to us where we still have work to do. And sometimes we get complacent or we get comfortable. And this is where spirit says, nope, it's time to get uncomfortable again because you need to grow. You need to ascend. You need to, to raise your frequency and keep going towards what we have in store for you, what you are here to do, um, what you're here to have, right? And so for some of you, it's like you're getting ready to have that most compatible soulmate. For some of you, it's about getting that job, career, starting that business, going towards that goal, right? That ultimately will be the financial for you, whether it's the goal of, of what you're doing or not. But so there's a lot going on and we're coming into an eclipse season. And I really feel this, this ramp up of energy that we're all feeling where it's like a little bit of urgency is being, um, we're feeling that, right? That excitement, that urgent, um, I got to do something, right? And you may not know what that is. So what I would say is try to ground, try to get in connection with yourself so that when things are coming at you or when things are happening that feel like they're happening to you, right? Um, you can see that it's, it's a, a pattern being revealed. It's something you need to deal with that maybe you've not dealt with. It could be you becoming more consciously aware of your unconsciousness, right? So whew, these energies are a lot and they are revealing to us. So um, that's what I would say is wherever you're feeling like this doesn't feel good, this isn't what I want, right? Um, step back, step back, get grounded, rest, drink your water, all the good stuff, all the good stuff. Um, taking time for self-care, taking time to fill up your own cup, um, recognizing that people coming at you who are coming at you in a certain way, it's, it's not about you. It's about them. All you can do is respond in the way that you can respond from your love, from your compassion, from your grace. Um, and some of that will be, um, I'm not responding. I'm just going in a new direction. I had my evidential medium course last night. And um, Crystal from Crystal Clear Health and Wellness actually um, is taking my class, which is really nice. But um, in the class, we were talking about this sort of thing where you have people come at you or you have situations that don't feel good. And she she put it this way. And I thought this was very like wise, right? Her wisdom, her innate wisdom coming through. And she's like, I just move based on how people move, right? If they're moving towards me in a way that doesn't feel good, I just move in the opposite direction. And so, yeah, sometimes I think it's that simple. It's 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 not having a confrontation. It's not trying to get your point across because if they're unconscious, they can't, they can't get your point anyway, right? So, um, so that's what I would say uh, right now is move appropriately. Move in the direction that's right for you. Um, you don't have to have the confrontation. You don't have to make anybody feel a type of way, but you have to go what works for you. Go in the direction that works for you because this eclipse season, it is about transformation. It is about your ascension. You are raising your frequency, you coming into connection with what is for you, which means there are going to be certain things that are not for you and they will be moving out of your experience. So, um, that's what I would, um, yeah, you know, right now, focus on what you can affect, focus on what, um, what is going well 
and grieving and letting go of anything that just moved away or isn't serving you, um, sometimes that's all you can do. And moving through the grieving process, really, really important. Not holding on to anything because we don't want to hurt ourselves. We don't want to put ourselves in situations where we end up getting hurt, right? Um, and sometimes we do that when we're still in kind of a people pleasing mode where we don't know how to set the boundary or we're afraid to set the boundary because that might upset someone else. But in these energies, um, this is about where you're being supported and going where that is. All right. Yeah, because it's all about you coming into balance for yourself. And this is what I really feel for all of us. That it's going to be so important in the next few weeks the rest of this month, really, um, to just focus on our balance and allowing things to flow in and out as they do. So for some of you, this could be a relationship that finally is, you know, not working out or um, the, the work situation that's not working out or not feeling good um, because there's going to be a lot of revelations in this energy. So for some of you, there could be some very tough revelations, um, illusions destroyed, secrets coming out. And some of you, you may be um, thrown, didn't see it coming. For some of you, I feel like you've been knowing somewhere in your psyche, there's something there, and it just comes out into the forefront, right? So this is really all about you coming into your power, this is all about you saying what you do want, um, recognizing where you are, um, getting very aware of where you are. Um, some people, you know, we don't take the time to check in with ourselves. How do I feel? How do I feel physically, right? Do you scan your body and kind of really tune into each part of your body and say, what is that feeling? Um, how, how am I doing in that part of my body, right? For some of you, you need to do that, you know, scan a relationship. You know, how am I feeling in all parts of the relationship? Um, am I being lied to by omission? Have I been turning um, away from or not um, looking too closely at certain parts of the relationship that haven't been working because I didn't want to rock the boat? I didn't want to uh, know the truth. I mean, sometimes we don't want to know because then we would have to do something. And that's what I'm feeling um, in these energies, that it's now time to get the revelations. It's time to... Um, yeah, come into community because it's time for things to change, things to shift. So new community, uh, the world card reasons to celebrate, like it's time for that to come in, but you're being blocked right now by the things that maybe you're letting slide under the radar or, um, you just don't know what you don't know. And I feel like that's what these eclipses are going to be bringing you, uh, what you don't know and why you need to know it now. And that will give you the reasons to celebrate the new job, the promotion, the most compatible partner, um, because you are coming into this new road, this new, uh, the world, right? The world card, uh, you're, you're, you're shifting, you're shifting into this new way of being and doing. And I feel like that's because whatever was holding you back, whatever was not being revealed in the past or whatever you weren't revealing to yourself, you know, sometimes we do, we, we do put our head in the sand. We don't want to know the truth because we know if we know the truth or we look at the truth, we have to make a decision. We have to make a choice. We have to do something different. And when you're not ready to, um, you, you, you don't, and I don't want you to beat yourself up about it. I don't want you to do the woulda, coulda, shoulda, right? You're going to make the decisions you need to make. You're going to see what you need to see. You're going to handle what you need to handle at the right time. So right now, give yourself grace for anything that is coming up that you feel like maybe is hitting you in the face, doesn't feel good. Um, and just know that you are coming into a time of, okay, now I have to deal with it. Now it's time to make the choice, make the decision. Um accept this for what it is or move on. Those are always the only two choices, right? <clears throat> Whether it's a relationship or a job or a goal or a passion or a, an inspiration. Yeah, uh, there it is. There it is. This is what you're being brought to. 
It's time to choose a new direction. That's what this is all about. These eclipses are bringing you into transformation. Um, today, you may get that revelation. You may get that secret revealed. You may get that uh, what you didn't know. You didn't know what you didn't know and you find out, right? But it is. It's time to choose a new direction. Mm. So some for, so for some of you, I feel like this is just validation. Like you've chosen the new direction, but you're like, am I going in the right direction? Am I doing the right thing? Is Yeah, this is, I feel like for some of you, just literally validation. The, okay, yep, what I'm doing, where I'm going, what I want, that's what I need. That's what's going to fill up my cup. That's what's going to give me what I want. That's what's going to bring me the happiness, the stability, the safety, and the security. Um, yeah, let's get a unicorn. Let's get a unicorn. Refreshing oasis, nurture yourself, gather your strength. Yeah, I feel like that's kind of where you need to be right now. This is where you need to be right now, um, giving yourself that oasis, whether that's just taking a day off or uh, setting a boundary or um, letting go of some little things that are bothering you. Like it's it's time um, for you to uh, nurture yourself because these uh, changes are going to really dump you out of your comfort zone. They're really going to take you on a whole new road. And so gathering your strength right now, nurturing yourself, filling up your cup, that is how you're going to be able to make the choices and decisions that you need to make. So this isn't about anybody else. This is about you saying, this is what I need. This is the direction I need to go in. You either support me or you don't. But it's about loving yourself enough to make that decision. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Going in a new direction, choosing a new direction, loving yourself, self-care, gathering your strength. Yeah, because it's all about this. It's all about this. It's all about you having the world you want. It's all about you creating the life that you want. This is all about you going towards the goals and the dreams that you want. This isn't about anybody else. So for those of you who are feeling held back or feeling stifled or feeling um, frustrated, um, I would say, you know, what step can you take that's going to lead you towards ultimately what you want and then take that step? So. Happy, happy Thursday, everyone. So uh, this Monday night at Crystal Clear Health and Wellness, I will be hosting a, a Reiki share and information night. So if that's something you're interested in, stop down between six and nine. Um, for those of you who really wanted to take the evidential medium course, but you're not in my area, that's okay. Um, it's coming to you in January and February which is really only a few months away. So if you want more information on that, please head over to my website, uh, guidance311.com, and hit the events tab. And that's all outlined there. Yeah. And then my online community this uh, Friday night, we are going to be uh, doing the channeled message for October. And I'm, I'm interested to see what they're going to bring through because we do have eclipse seasons. We have a lot going on planetary, energetically, just a lot going on um, with the moon phases, everything. So I'm interested to see what spirit wants to help us support us with the message um, this Friday night at 8 p.m. If you want to join my online community, please do. Uh, it is $33.33 a month. And that's also going to give you a 50% discount for the Evidential Medium course. So um, we're doing really good stuff. We're doing good stuff. Um, in my membership, you get the uh, intuitive guidance meeting every month, which is uh, I do readings for you, whether it's past life regression, um, oracle cards, tarot cards, mediumship, whatever you need. 
um, and that is um, the second Wednesday of every month. And then the fourth Wednesday of every month, we do the meetup where we're going to be doing, or we do uh, a meditation, a guided meditation, again, for support, and then also healing. And I've been doing the compassion key, but I think what I'm going to do, um, I'm actually going to do a group IET session. Um, I've, I've done them in the past um, personally. Uh, I've never brought it to the online community. So I think this month we're going to change it up and not do compassion key as the healing modality in the, the meetup, but we're going to do a, a group IET session. So I'm looking forward to that. So we have a lot of good things going on here at Guidance 311. So if you're someone that's either in my area uh, or not, um, you can work with me virtually, in person, distant sessions, whatever works for you. I even have people who are in my area that still want the distant sessions. So um, just know that they're just as impactful. So if you want any more information on me, it's guidance311.com or melissalwatkins.com, however you want to find me. Good morning, Babooty. Um, thank you to, for everyone who was with me on Tuesday Tarot. We had a beautiful evening of spirit. And I will also be um, doing uh, an evening of spirit at Crystal Clear Health and Wellness on October 28th. Um, we're going to do a gallery style reading. So there's more information um, on her website about that, um, her Facebook page about that. So um, yeah, lots of, lots of um, ways in which to connect with spirit, whether you want some guidance, some support, some healing, um, or learning, you know, uh, take the classes so that you can maybe share your gifts, whether it's uh, making, building that relationship with spirit for yourself in a way that you can trust and act on what you're receiving, or to share, to share with others in the way that works for you. So um, yeah, I'm just, I'm ready. I'm ready to kind of get back to work, get back to business, um, but really connect with all of you in the way that works for you, whether it's working with me individually, working with me on my online community, in my membership, or um, here on Daily Guidance or um, over on my YouTube channel. So good stuff, guys. Lots of good stuff going on. So just wanted to update everybody. That's what we got going on. And really, really looking forward to um, finishing out this year strong and then everything that we're planning for next year. So welcome. If you're finding me, you're in the right place. You're ready. You're ready to ascend. You're ready to have the life that you want. You're ready to heal. You're ready to step through the shadow and into the light. All right, guys, have a beautiful rest of your day. We'll talk soon. Please like my page so you know when I go live on Facebook and also like and subscribe and hit the notification bell on YouTube. All right, guys, enjoy.